Hi Taurus, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have one of their true intentions in love. And Taurus, they must be really good because these oracle cards are really beautiful that I have randomly pulled for you, right? I never see the cards. I have them all stacked. Uh, and the, the backs uh, face me, of course, right? Yeah, and so we have desire, right, for the Lover's Path deck. And... Uh, we also have balance, right? I believe this is justice. We're going to see in just a moment. We These are like all majors. It's uh, kind of a trip here. Uh, and even the ones, we have two aces here, right? We have the ace of coins, and then we have the ace of swords, triumphant success, right? Unless, of course, Taurus, somebody has pissed you off, <coughs> and you are ready for them with the sword. <coughs> I doubt that, right? And... Uh, but we have overcome any obstacle here. We have the rhino spirit, right? And he has the swirl on his head, which is protection. Could be wealth, uh, but it is uh, a really good symbol here uh, for, you know, overcoming the obstacle. And, uh, oh yeah, with desire here, we have Tristan and Isolde. And that was a really beautiful story. Uh... I mean, I didn't read it, but I saw it on a movie, right? So, you know, hopefully they didn't, like, switch it up too much, right? Because they do sometimes. And uh, interestingly enough here in this deck, usually... Uh, and this is the lovers, really, right? Desire. And here's Tristan with a soldi, right? And uh, she was a Scot. Here she is with her red hair, right? Kind of indicative or common... Uh, for Scots, at least in those days, they, my mom used to always say, or my uncle used to always say that, uh, and, you know, they were Norwegians, they used to say that the Scots and the Irish had red hair from the Norwegians, <laughs> from the Vikings, right, it could be, but here we have this couple, you know, hugging, and, uh, you know, they were kind of prevented from being together in the end. But they were together in soul, yeah, because uh, they loved each other so much, right? I feel like somebody here is really in love with you. Yeah, I feel like they are. Because we have the kindred partnership, and uh, I'm not sure why this lady's wearing a tutu, right? Those little ballerina uh, dresses or skirts. Yeah, maybe she just had a performance, right? But the guy's uh, real cute, and <coughs> they're at the beach, and in the background, and this is people, so these are really two... Two people, right? It's a couple, uh, kind of like in real time, sort of, right? And then we have, in the back, we have the island, and the lighthouse is there. Uh, I feel like the lighthouse uh, stands for protection, mm -hmm. right? And then we have the rainbow behind it, and the hot air balloons are up in the air. Yeah, they are, which is, you know, a sign of, uh, I believe, joy, and you know, lift off kind of right. Let's let's take this to the next uh, the next phase. The ascended masters are here, and these they're showing these hands, the infinity symbol, and the dove and the lotus flower. I can't see what this other thing is down here at the bottom. But long story short, somebody has ascended. Somebody's grown. Maybe somebody was an immature twit. You know, that's kind of not a nice way to say things. <laughs> <laughs> but it's possible they were, right? Somebody has ascended, and isn't that the point? They have grown, uh, they have evolved, and uh, they could be spiritually, basically intelligent, kind of, right? Uh, spiritually, emotionally intelligent. Mm -hmm. And then we also have, though, we do have a negative card here. We have the absolute fool, and uh, here is the, the master. Not really the master, but these two men are here, and... This one person is, you know, has kind of, you know, kind of thrown himself. Not really thrown, but here he is on the ground, and he's kind of giving up. He feels like he's been screwed over and tricked or something like that. Uh, and he's really sad, right? And he's sitting here on the ground, and his friend or the guy is telling him, get up, it's not the end of the world, right? Like, in the end, you can overcome this, right? So the absolute fool, and in the back of the man who was, you know, telling him to get up, right, and kind of stand up and, like, fight back. Don't, don't give up and don't, don't, don't fall into a depression, right? Like, these things happen to, you know, humans, right? Uh, you know, bad things happen sometimes, but it doesn't have to define you. And right next to that is the rhino spirit, overcoming the obstacles. So 
Uh, maybe somebody has felt like a fool here. That is what I am not sure of. Let's get a card. Let's see if we have those. I want to take a card out of this deck for Taurus. See what we have for Taurus. We have the Seven of Wands. And this is Inner Strength. And we're just going to stick it up here. We're going to put it right next to, in this deck, this is Inner Strength. And the man is here with these Seven Wands. And he looks like he's kind of fighting himself, right? Uh, he's usually kind of, you know, kind of on the bank, kind of. Uh, but here he is, and he is uh, wielding a wand, and he looks like he's trying to gain his stance, kind of. But this is inner strength right next to the absolute fool, right? Yeah. So let's get into this reading, and let's see here, because uh, somebody here loves you, but there was some issue in the past. There sure was. So let's see what we have for... Taurus, and let's, let's get my kind of favorite deck here. This has been my favorite deck for a little while here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have for Taurus and their person. Okay, so we got. And so we have Venus and Vulcan as balance, which I think is the justice. Uh, we're going to look at that in just a minute. And this is another couple that are really in love with each other, Venus and Vulcan, right? So let's see what we have. Interestingly enough, uh, Taurus is ruled by Venus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. And Venus is about love, of course, and passion. But I also feel like it has to do with uh, materialism and beauty. Yeah, and Taurus is all about that. Yeah. So let's see. Let's have a real quick look here at what they say about Venus and Vulcan. Yeah, let's see what they say, which is uh, the number 14 mm -hmm. in the major, right, Arcana. Let's see what we have. This is Temperance. I beg your pardon. Okay. And, uh, and this is Sagittarius, right? Over here, possibly could be the lovers with uh, desire, right? But let's see what we, let's see what we have. Uh, it doesn't have to be those signs, you guys, right? But it could be, right? Harmony, self-control, equilibrium, and artistry. Mm -hmm. Harmony, yeah. Uh, temperance is about bringing harmony and balance. And uh, what's the other word? Like... Um, It's healing, too, but uh, I forget. But it's just like harmony, right? But harmony also speaks to uh, Libra and energy big time, right? This is why I kind of uh, maybe thought that this might have been justice. Venus was first worshipped as a nature goddess associated with the arrival of spring, much like the Empress, right? This is why, you guys, that is your card. Uh, you share the card with Libra, right? Only later gaining notoriety for her sensual exploits. Yeah, she was a little player, Taurus, right? To balance her, her natural exuberance, the gods wed her to Vulcan, right? So she married Vulcan, the lame god of the forge. Wow. Venus did not appreciate her husband's skillful craftsmanship, and she did not hesitate to share her affections with others. She wasn't really into him, no. Despite this, Venus and Vulcan's marriage endured. Each was necessary to the other, as opposites often are. That's a really interesting, right? Uh, maybe this person, uh, Taurus, your person is somebody who is, I don't know, maybe seems like an opposite, right? In other words, they gave to each other. I mean, she might not appreciate him, maybe in the beginning, or something like that, but uh, they, you know, there was something between them, some type of, you know, something that held them together that was kind of an op opposite traits, possibly, right? Maybe she was great at kind of one thing, and uh, and he was kind of terrible at it, so she helped him or fed fed him that way, kind of, you know, nurtured him, right? And then it could be the opposite, right? That he had something great that she didn't have, and together, this is how they, you know, endured. So let's get into this. Let's see what we have. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's somebody here who is just kind of, uh, you never thought things would work out with that person. It could be. So let's see what we have for Taurus. Show me the energy for Taurus, please. For Taurus. For Taurus. 
the devil, OMG here. Here he has these two people chains. Let's see what we have for Taurus. This could be in the past. King of Cups reversed. Wow, for Taurus. We have the Ten of Wands. This is what's on your mind. This is making plans with, with this person and working things out with them. Yeah, that's what it is. Let's see what else. Your challenge. Show me the challenge for Taurus. It is the Ten of Swords. Yeah. And here's the man walking away, right? He has just won this battle pretty much. This is also ruin and disaster. Could be destruction, right? And these people are watching him walk away. So this is an ending here. We have, we could have two, uh, two endings here. What's on your mind? Ten of Wands or a completion. This uh, Ten of Swords is definitely an ending, right? Uh, because they are almost the same. They can be the same, a completion and an ending, but... Not always, right? So let's see what we have. Let's see what you want. Show me what Taurus desires. Show me what Taurus desires. The Justice. And this could be balance that you want right here. The Justice card. He's holding the scales. He is, uh, he is the judge. He's supposed to kind of bring balance, right? But nowadays, you know, they're just all paid off. Yeah, there's no... Uh, anybody who is kind of questioning them or what they say. Uh, if you go to court, be very careful. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Let's continue, you guys. Let's look at the fear for Taurus or the doubt. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So this could be you or you are dealing with another earth sign. Let's see what we have for Taurus. For Taurus. Mm -hmm. We have the Eight of Cups. This is abandonment. The man drinks from the cup, but he's going to abandon these cups and you know, walk on over this hill and just kind of give up or throw in the towel on something or just abandon somebody, right? Let's see what we have. OMG. And the Two of Wands. It looks like your person has already done this, has already abandoned somebody here. Your challenge is the Ten of Swords, and this is like to walk away here. So you could be waiting for somebody to walk away from somebody. It's a possibility. Maybe you had a difficult relationship with somebody, possibly with this uh, Venus and Vulcan. It's a possibility. It, it's possible that somebody has grown here with the Ascended Masters, and now this can, you know, this will be a kindred partnership, right? These people are really happy together. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have for Taurus's person. They have the Five of Pentacles. Wow. Let's see what we have. And in their challenge is the moon. What they may want or hope for. Page of Pentacles. This is for things to be fertile. Right? Here he has the sunflowers. He's holding the coin. Right? The, the, the pentacle. And so, you know, this sometimes, this is like, this person is probably studying the situation or in evaluation uh for sure. What's on their mind, Taurus? They want you to let them into the church. They're out in the cold, and they have been reincarnated into this kind of, looks like a greyhound. I'm not sure. No, maybe not. Uh, you know, it's a dog, right? <laughs> He's real cute, and he has his head tilted to the side, and here is the church window. It's snowing, and he is wondering, can I come in? Is the light on for me in the church, right? And the nine of pentacles. Mm -hmm. It, your person has this nine of pentacles here. This card, this is the self-sufficiency card. It can be a single, like somebody is just single. The nine of pentacles. She's here alone on her estate, right? And she only has uh, organic grapes there. Mm -hmm. Try to stick to organic grapes because some products have uh, far more uh, of these uh, glyphosate in them. Yeah, which is just which is what people use in their yard. Don't use it, you guys. It causes major disease. Yeah. So let's see what we have, you guys. Your person's challenge is the moon. You know, the moon is a card. It is a card of things that are hidden, right? And things that are unclear, unknown. It can be a card of confusion because of that. And doubts and fears. And it's a card where somebody uh, feels like somebody may feel like really unstable like they don't understand like or they just kind of feel like things are all like things are just kind of crazy right when the moon comes a lot of people are like really affected by the moon right and the moon is 
the same cycle as a woman as her like menstruation, right? Which is 28 days. This is why uh, a lot of women here really feel the moon and also men too, but women more so because their periods are guided by the moon. Yeah. Right? Well, meanwhile, they're trying to really kind of make this an unnatural world where, you know, where you don't even, honestly, they're going to get to the point where, you know, they're probably going to say the vegetables are not good for you. I'm not kidding. So let's get back to this. You guys could be saying, oh my God, how nuts is that? Yeah, it's that nuts. <laughs> so let's see here. Let's get back to this, Taurus. You could be going, oh my God, right? So we have the devil and the king of cups reversed and this ten of wands. Uh, I feel like you were in bondage here and in fear in the past over this. You could have felt really stuck, Taurus. Maybe you were actually chained to this person, maybe emotionally. We see the two people chained, and the devil is holding the chain, right? Looking at them like, I have you, like, kind of under my spell, or, you know, I have you stuck here where you can't, you know, you can't leave. And, you know, maybe your person is a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Mm, they could be, you know, uh, they could be, ju they could be, excuse me, Libra with the Justice card. The moon could be, you know, this Piscean or a Cancerian. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then we have Aquarius for the lovers. And this is temperance over here, balance. So this could be a Sagittarian, right? Could be, it doesn't have to be any of these people though, you guys. So let's see what we have for Taurus. And the King of Cups is reversed. I just feel like, you know, this cup, uh, this could be your current energy. This cup uh, in the upright is being offered. He doesn't really see the offer, right? Uh, but he may not want it. It's just possible that he, uh, and this is your energy here. I feel like you are waiting for this person to bring the cup. Because that's why this is reversed here. Yeah, what's on your mind is like making plans with this person. Seven of Pentacles. You know, this can talk about growing something with this person. And you you could be determined. This could be, right, determined. And this King of Cups reverse could be somebody maybe that they are abandoning. They have this Eight of Cups card right here. Some people say, I don't want to hear about abandonment. Well, you know, these are like soap opera readings, right? <laughs> I mean, they are in a way, right? Whenever you talk about uh, love, you, there's always the the possibility of, you know, of uh, broken hearts and, and, you know, abandonment and sometimes third parties, etc., etc. But some this person's really in love with you, Taurus. This is very clear, uh, and I feel like this is very mutual, right? Let's see why you have the Ten of Swords in the challenge with the Eight of Swords. OMG. Yeah, I bet you this person has to end something, right? Uh, because here we have the executioner, and she's being, like, walked out to her death, right? Eight of Swords. And you might feel really stuck here. You could be waiting for somebody to end something. It's possible they told you, yeah, I'm leaving so-and-so. Just wait for me, all right? I'm getting it together. It's a possibility here. It's also possible that somebody just has ascended or grown, like, raised their, you know, their consciousness here, right? Level here, like, spiritually awakened to... I feel like to their life and to what is really important. And I feel like it's their love for you, right? The Justice card showing up, and this could be what you want. Uh, the King of Swords is reversed. You know, I feel like you want balance and harmony, and you want to bring balance to this situation. This is why we have this card, Balance, with Venus and Vulcan, right? Uh, I feel like they have that. That is about them because they were able to bring balance between them. She didn't really want... Uh, Vulcan in the beginning and it's all here they are happy and they are like I'm not sure if they are dancing I'm not sure what they're doing here but uh, they're joining hands and you know this could be about as I said maybe in the past I think I said this that maybe you had a falling out with somebody or in the past one of you didn't want this this talks about coming together and bringing balance right and so we have the king of swords reversed you know he's grabbing the sword yeah, that's what he's doing, except he doesn't have it yet. It's in the reverse, and this is what you, you're hoping for. You're hoping, I believe, that this person already made the decision. And I believe they have. And here they are, what's on their mind is uh, like coming in from out of the cold, right? This person could be definitely coming in from the cold. <clears throat> you might have put him there, 
Maybe they have, I feel like they are walking away from somebody here. They have the Eight of Cups, which is abandonment. And over here is a Knight of Pentacles in your doubts and fears. If they are an earth sign, uh, you know, that would be better than you being in your own doubts and fears, Taurus. Because, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's fear, right? Let's see why the Knight of Pentacles is in your doubts and fears. <clears throat> and we have... Uh, the Queen of Swords, right? And so, you know, here's the Queen accepting the crown of glory, which or the crown of victory, which is to win, of course, and to have a victory with you. You're afraid here it's not going to happen. You're afraid they're not going to accept that, or, yeah. So they are, Taurus, never fear, power of light is here. Yeah, they are, and uh, they look like they're coming with all their love, it kind of looks like here. Uh, let's see why we have we have the uh, Eight of Cups showing up with the Two of Wands for them, right? And the Six of Cups. This is your person from the past who feels warm and fuzzy about you, right? Mm-hmm. They can feel warm and fuzzy about you in the month of July with their bathing suit on, right? <laughs> in the lake or at the ocean because this is uh, <clears throat> kind of like, I feel like this is a, a reading where, you know, I love you for all seasons. Yeah, for sure. You guys know that song? A uh, very cool song. Uh, I forget the name of the band. It, it's out of the 70s. It's a, it's an oldie. It's a soul oldie. I don't think you get any better than soul oldies. No, I don't. I love easy rock from the 70s. Uh, but the soul oldies, they get real sexy and kind of passionate. They do. Let's see what they have to say about this two of wands in this particular deck. Uh, yeah. And here the man, it's usually a crossroads or somebody's choosing somebody. The twos can be about choices. He's holding the globe and somebody's watching him, right? And this is uh, ambition, resolution, and courage. Yeah, and that's what it takes. The man's holding up the globe, right? Nobody holds up the globe and says, you know, where's my next conquered land, right? Or where am I heading next, right? Without courage, yeah. Mm -hmm. The world is your oyster and this is their current energy right mm -hmm. strength and established strength you see how we have ascended masters so somebody has grown here and established their courage and their strength that's what this is about definitely and we have the ten of of uh the five of pentacles <laughs> this is uh what's on their mind with the wheel of fortune this person could be a sagittarian uh because of temperance which is the balance card right Mm -hmm. And here they are. They want to know if you're going to let them in, Taurus. And here you are wondering if you're going to have victory with them. This is really a beautiful reading. The moon card, Taurus, showing up. And this is uh, in the challenge for them. Showing up with the hermit. They could be a Virgo, right? Because uh, this Knight of Pentacles is here. It's possible. It doesn't Nobody has to be any particular sign, right? You could be dealing with somebody who has... Uh, they're a cusper, right? <laughs> But, you know, the moon cards, we have two majors here in the challenge. And so, for this person, and this hermit is finding out the truth or finding his insight, right? Understanding what he needs to do or understanding a situation. And this could really have to kind of uh, deal with this ascended masters. This is in their challenge. It's possible this person had to understand the situation, right? Uh, here he is filling his lantern, right, with the star, which, you know, illuminates the truth or just illuminates, just brings an understanding, right? So we have the moon here as well. And, uh, you know, this is really interesting here because this could be this King of Cups, Pisces, or Cancer, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I just feel like this person, there could be a secret here. It's possible here you have been waiting for them as a secret, it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. The moon can be things that are hidden, right? And this hermit card, I just feel like this person has... Uh, it's possible they have doubts and fears here that maybe you are not understanding the situation. Maybe that they have grown, possibly. Let's get a card for the challenge for Taurus, this person, the Knight of Cups. Yeah. And here the woman hands him the cup, and here he has, uh, you know, ridden his horse, Right? And uh, probably far, he's at the riverfront. And it's like he met her there to accept her cup. It really looks like that, right? 
And so, you know, he's accepting it. He's reaching for the cup. And this is in the challenge. This person has doubts and fears here if you're going to accept their cup. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you understand the situation here yourself, like, you know, maybe they have explanation here. And as I said, they could have really ascended, right? Yeah. And let's see what else we have. The Page of Pentacles is their desire. We have this, the Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. This person is really hoping, or their hope, that you're going to accept their cup, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like this person is hoping that you're going to indulge, like, in this love. Because I feel like this love is super indulgent, yeah. And very beautiful and rich, because we have... Tristan and Asolti, Asolti here, right, which is desire, right, and here they are hugging so tight, like, there will never be anybody else but you, not like that, right. I feel like this person, somebody here has the seven of wands, which is inner strength, right, and uh, the ascended masters is here, somebody kind of had to fight to, like, grow, like, they could have felt maybe the pain, this probably is your person, they felt the pain of kind of like not being spiritually aware of understanding this union, I believe. And it could be they had to draw inner strength possibly to also abandon somebody. Eight of Cups right here. Right? This person is hoping here that uh, things are going to like bloom between you guys. Right? Here he has, here he is. Uh, you know, at these sunflowers, and they have grown, and uh, the sign of fertility, right, and uh, they're hoping here, this person is uh, definitely in their thoughts, and their study, kind of, about this, right, and their evaluation, right, and the four of cups here, mm -hmm. it's possible here that this person uh, could be hoping that maybe, you know, they were not too Possibly they were too indulgent in the past. Maybe they had, here they are, they look like they're abandoning somebody. It's possible they abandoned you in the past. This is the recent past. But, you know, over here is the Nine of Pentacles in their fear. Like, they could be, uh, maybe they are, they could be becoming single here. It's possible and worried that you're not going to be there for them. And may, meanwhile, they could have abandoned the situation. What's in their mind is the Five of Pentacles. Sometimes that is a lack of money. And in their doubt here is this Nine of Pentacles. We're going to see about that in just a minute here. I feel like this person is hoping you're going to accept their cup. But I also feel like they are, I feel like this person has done something in the past. Uh, you know, maybe they just had somebody else and you kind of thought they were a player. They could be hoping that you're, you are not seeing them that way. It's a possibility here, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see what they say about the Four of Cups. And this is... The Four of Cups shows that you can have too much of a good thing. And it says can talk about drowning your sorrows. I feel like this person is worried they're going to have to, they're going to end up kind of drowning their sorrows. And this is exactly what the absolute fool is doing right here, right? Where the man says, get up. You, you, can't, you can't give up and die and stay by this tree because your heart is broken. Get up, right? You have to do that, right? Like... If your kids are suffering or something, you, you have to tell them in a way, look, you have to fight. You can't lay down and accept defeat, right? You get up. Dust yourself off and try again, right? Just like Aaliyah saying, right? Excess disillusionment, disenchantment. Yeah, they're hoping that you're not going to be disenchanted with them. And they can build this with you. Yeah, right? We have the Nine of Pentacles here. And this is the single card, typically. It is also the card of, you know, kind of somebody who, is, who has built some type of an empire or kind of built, you know, uh, you know, they could be <clears throat> kind of living a stable life financially. It's showing up in their fear. And this can, uh, this is the Nine of Pentacles promises material comfort and financial security. Yeah, and this could also be, you know, this person is worried here that they're going to lose probably some of, uh, yeah, it's possible they are worried that maybe they have to, they're going to lose some type of money here in a situation, especially if they're abandoning somebody over here. It's a possibility. 
they could have just abandoned you, but uh, because in the challenge here for you, Taurus, is uh, is an ending. We have the Ten of Swords, but <clears throat> so they could have ended it with you. <clears throat> but this this could be also. It's possible they have to end it with somebody else. It is a possibility here because it is in the challenge, and in their recent past energy is this card of abandonment, right? Uh, and you know they could have really kind of. It's possible this person kind of like. Maybe you have, like, walked them to their death, so to speak, right? Very, you know, uh, maybe maybe you have kind of walked them out to an ending. And so, kind of, right? Kind of given them their, their, their uh, walking papers. But it could have been a little harsh here with the Eight and the Ten of Swords. And so, maybe that is your challenge because you don't know if they will trust you, kind of. Like, I don't mean you've done anything bad. I just mean that... Maybe you ended it with them, possibly. And now you don't know if they will have, like, the courage to come back. There is some type of courage in this reading. There is, because we have ascended masters. Yeah, and we have overcoming, overcome any obstacle here. This person is showing up with courage, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is interesting because this can talk about peace. They're fearing here, this Nine of Pentacles, that they're not going to have peace with you, right? And here you are wondering if you're going to, like, kind of, like, have them or join them in the end, like, or after some type of, of, a, of a situation down here, I believe, or just a breakup you had with them. But they could be fearing here they're not going to have peace, Right? Because, you know, finances, financial security, it does bring peace, right? You're not, and this is about finances or money, right? It could be, <clears throat> you're not worried how you're going to pay your bills, right? If you are financially stable, and that's what that card can be about. Mm -hmm. They could be fearing pleasure as well, right? They could. Mm -hmm. And so, let's see what else we have. Uh, let's get one card, one more card on the fear, and we're going to go to the extent. Let's see what we have for Taurus, this person, in the fear and the doubt. We have the Emperor. You know, this could be also uh, an energy here where your person is afraid that if they become single, right, and, you know, and they, like, end another situation, that maybe you're just going to kind of sacrifice them. Because they're coming with courage, but they're coming afraid. I feel like you guys understand what that is, right? We've all, we've all done stuff. This is how you grow. You're like, well, I might not win this, but, you know, or, <clears throat> but I'm going to learn a lot. And, you know, uh, I'm going to chalk one up for my courage, right? Which helps you down the line in your life. For sure it does, right? This is, uh, this is growing, right? And here, I feel like that's what's happening right here. So we're going to end this reading. We're going to go to the extended. I really want to see it. This is a beautiful reading. This looks like uh, Sagittarius is reading. And we may have a Sagittarian here with the Wheel of Fortune, right? We could. Mm -hmm. And then we have Temperance up here. Yeah, with this Balance card, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to end this reading. Thank you so much, you guys. The extended link is below. And we're going to have a full spread on this person. Yeah, we are. And uh, we're going to see how they feel about you. We're going to pull a few Oracle cards on them. Yeah, just kind of for the fun of it, right? We are. Uh, we're going to look at the gypsy spread in the extended. That's how we're going to do it here. Because there's so much fun, right? Yeah. And uh, let's see what we have for Taurus and their person. Let's start, start it here and complete it in the other reading. Show me the energy for Taurus and their person. And it is the constancy card. Yeah, somebody never stopped loving you. That's what this is about. Let's see what we have in the past for Taurus and their person. And we have the foe. This is the third party. Yeah, foe. Yeah, and they're being nice here because um, I was going to make a joke here. But it's just a third party person. It's seen as the enemy to a union. Yeah, and you're hoping that they're going to leave somebody here. I feel like you probably were the third party, it looks like. And coming into play is Fortuna. This is good luck. Wow, we're going to talk about this. can talk about somebody taking a chance. The young woman is the obstacle. Yeah, and this is pointing to the fact that this person is probably was in another union, and the young woman is, it doesn't have to be young, just a single, somebody who's not married. Looks like they were married, that's how it looks here. 
and the Lord is showing up in the outcome. These are all great cards. We're going to finish this and uh, and also have the tarot spread. Thank you so much, you guys, and uh, for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.